Wait a minute. I don't think that's supposed to be like that, brother. Oh, ramp around like that? Oh, shit. Right. Nah, it's supposed to be. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. That hole. I think it's loose, bro. My shit is going in. Wow. Like, Yikes, bro. That's not good. Like, how is she it's supposed to just be hanging, bro. My um, my my strut is not locked. All right, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. Today, we are at Texas Wheel and Tire. Um, I used to come here a lot uh, back when I used to live on this side of town. So, I need to get some new tires. My wires are showing on both. That was a B. Let me close this door. My wires are showing on both tires because uh, I've been doing some some activities oh, I'm not gonna speak on that But nah, uh, so they're showing wire on both sides. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna get the fronts just moved to the back and I'm gonna take the tires that are showing wire and I'm gonna buy some smaller sidewall tires, some uh, uh, 225, <laughs> some 225, 30, 20s. Um, and I'm gonna put those in the front and hopefully it has the front end sit a little lower. But of course, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hear the vet in the background. I'm with my boy Versatile, you dig what I'm saying? Y'all go check him out on the YouTube, goddamn. But we're gonna try to get some tires right now. I'm gonna go talk to the guys and see what we can do. I'm gonna see y'all in one second, man. Let me roll that intro, actually. I'm gonna roll that intro, I'm gonna be right back. Welcome back to yet again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video, you did. All right, y'all, so basically, CarMax, when they replaced the tires, and that joint got a nail in it, you feel me? I got to replace it regardless. So basically, when CarMax replaced the tires, they put the front, the, the back wheel on the front, and the front on the back. So that's why when I did get my bags, that's why it blew. Only the passenger blew because it wasn't the right tire. So I was right. My assumptions were correct. So now what we got to do is we're going to put that on the back end, put a new tire on that for the front, and uh, we're going to chill off that. I was really going to send it like this dude did, send the tires out, but he's a little worried. So we're going to see what's up. It's 20 by 9. Yeah, they even put a space. No, no, no. I had, to, I had to do that for the bags mm -hmm. because after it blew, me and my dude, we were worried. So I bought a five millimeter spacer for the front. Now let me check the back and see if it's the right one. Now, so it says this is twenty by nine. We're gonna take this one off and see if it's a 20 by 10. Maybe they just did the tire. I don't know, bro. Niggas are a bit confused. Like right, that joint, big game over. I hope big game over, brother. <laughs> Especially in this rain that we got. This one is, that's a 20 by 8. Yep, yeah, these are far around. Yup. Yeah. So these niggas big goofy. Yeah, that's the one you yeah, yeah, man. They was tripping, bro. So this joint is the front. The assumptions was correct. And that joint's the back. So I'm straight with the. <laughs> I'm straight with that one. I just got to get one for this one now. That shit is crazy. Count, bro. <laughs> you <would be> this <laughs> nigga. <laughs> no cap, bro. Big, 
I knew something was up, man. Niggas tried to play me. <laughs> Let me check my like bag, goddamn. Ah, shit. Type. Don't even touch that. Make sure my shit in. It's still in good touch, goddamn. Everything's straight. Wait a minute. I don't think that's supposed to be like that, brother. Oh, wrap like that. oh shit. Like... Nah, it's supposed to no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, ho. I think it's loose, bro. My shit is going in. Wow. Like, Yikes, bro. That's not good. Like, how is it? It's supposed to just be hanging, bro. My, um, my, my strut is not locked. Alright y'all, so I'm filming on my phone right now because my camera just kept fogging up. But as you guys can see, this joint right here is wrapping around because the bag is lowering itself because this collar is not all the way locked. So what I have to do is grab a wrench, disconnect the line from this one. Hopefully it doesn't recede inside like the main airline. It doesn't recede inside the fender liner. I might have to like pull it a little bit to get it to stay right here. Um, disconnect the line and then go ahead and completely twist the bag clockwise and it should allow it to raise back up so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do let me go get the key for this lock um, so I can loosen it up some more that way it, I'll have an easier um, chance at going ahead and twisting this clockwise because i feel like it only moves like whenever i hit a hard bump because it's not com entirely completely loose but it is loose a little bit just enough as you guys can see for the line to completely wrap around the coil over itself so give me one second let me run in the house real quick i'll be right back all right y'all so update for y'all i finally got the line disconnected um, I'm about to go ahead and get the key and try to loosen this a little bit and then turn it clockwise and get it to raise up. That way it's even. And then I'm gonna reconnect the line and we should be straight. All right, y'all. So just wanna give y'all an update. I wasn't able to get this collar to move, um, but I was able to go ahead and turn the bag and fix it. I've already reconnected the line and tucked it. Um, I kinda don't like how this airline is just hanging like this. I'm gonna go to Home Depot probably and grab like a little um, something to where I can bolt it off to the side and probably just reuse one of these holes that are already in the chassis. Um, just to clamp it off to the side, like how this line is or how like this line is, it's like ran off to the side. That way like there's not that much slack because I don't want this to get caught on some shit or something like that and then big game over you know what i'm saying i have two extra braided lines at the house um but still i don't want that to happen so what i'm gonna go ahead and do now i've already tested it um with the remote just aired out this side filled it up with air and everything made sure the line wasn't linking leaking um everything should be good i've also tightened it down to make sure that there is no room for a leak um the only thing that worries me is this lock collar i wasn't able to turn it so i'm not able to lock it i gotta go to home depot grab some pc blaster or something like that and um spray it down let it sit for about 30 minutes and then try to go ahead and lock it all the way um so I think I should be straight for right now though. I was just really, really worried about having my line wrapped around the um, the strut itself. That was like a real, like, I'm not gonna lie. That was a scary sight to see when we took off the tire um, and I saw that. So now that it's straight and aligned, the line doesn't look like it has any damage. Um, and like I said, I have two extra ones in the house. So if anything, if case may be whatever the case may be i can just go ahead and swap it out and yeah man without further ado um i definitely am gonna have to be doing um <laughs> a brake change very very soon because these rotors are a little to gone to be honest with you so <laughs> i guess jordan slotted coming soon y'all but give me one second let me go ahead and put the tire on i'm gonna go ahead and air it out for y'all and everything make sure everything is straight um and take it down the street um and make sure there's no like weird noises or anything and then we should be good 
Big hands dirty, man. It's been a minute since since I got down and dirty like this, bro. <laughs> what is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? It's been a couple of days since the last clip that you guys just saw. Um, and with that being said, I forgot to record an outro for this video. Um, but I just want to come on here real quick and let y'all know yesterday I did something to Mamba and you don't want to miss it like he's a completely different animal that video drops this friday make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you can be notified when that video drops also i'm going to be starting the series of rating my subscribers cars so y'all stay tuned to my instagram ji underscore productions underscore underscore it pops up right here make sure y'all follow me on instagram so y'all can see the, whenever i post on there to let you guys know to go ahead and send in your pictures of your cars but without further ado man i'm telling y'all make sure you smash the subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because on friday i'm dropping the video mamba is insane but with that being said that's gonna be it for this one i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace <laughs>